Hi, we're back on VirtualBox. This is uh, Qtile, Control T. And it's a little bit small, you see, at the top here. So you do Control F again until he figures out that there is more space in, in this system. And with Control uh, Super X, actually, you log out and you log out, then VirtualBox says, oh, it seems I have one centimeter above what, and, and one centimeter at the top, or an inch, I don't know, but now we have a full screen. Basically, this video is here because we had Super Shift Return. We have uh, downloaded, well, this is an Arch Linux D, not a B version, which could be easily done as well. Doesn't take that long to install then as uh, compared to the D version, but it's, um, it's here, all the scripts are here, and there's one thing we haven't done. So we ran everything with a number from here till here, and all the rest is just jibber jabber things, maintenance, this is maintenance, license, well, read me. And the thing that's also interesting for you guys is the personal. Well, there's another thing that might interest you. It depends if you are already ready for phase five. Phase five and Arco Linux is get rid of Arco and make the move and move to Arch Linux. So the basics back to the Arch wiki and um, information looking and learning. And that's why the Arch Linux is so great because it's one big university. Everything is in the wiki. You can have a look at it and anything specific for specific laptops or hardware, you'll find something or help online on forums. The thing I wanted to tell you is that there is also this personal folder. So if you, well, there are two things to approach this. Either you look for the word nemesis on arclinks.com, arclinksd.com, or on YouTube, the word nemesis. And it contains also all the scripts I run, me personally, I run often Arch Linux. And I know my core members, the Arch Linux core members, use the Nemesis as well. So it gets us more info, gets us more applications. Discord is not installed, Dropbox is not installed, Spotify is not installed. A lot of stuff that we like to have is not on the ISO because we don't want to push these software packages on there. We could push it and we would have a very big ISO. But these things are worth looking into. What, is, what are these things? You can run these guys and you'll see that you have the personal folders here and you can change these files. You can open them, edit them, have a look at them. It just creates icons uh, folder and themes folder and fonts folder if it is not existing. Otherwise you have to do right mouse click create folder and, and make it, right? So this is a script to create these folders. The same goes for number 200 here. It's going to uh, add these bookmarks. So number 200, take a look at what's here on the left. You can use these and reuse these scripts as well. So etc scale is important. Otherwise I have to go to the file system every time, etc scale and start typing, not mistyping. I typed again, here it is. So you have to drag it over here again, there you are. And then it's there, but it's already there. So it won't work now. And all these things, it's up to you, analyze them if you like them. For instance, um, sometimes Firefox gives us fields that we hardly can read. This is the fix if you are on a dark theme, sometimes the white background and the light gray font color is almost unreadable. So there's a fix for that. And these are the ZSH, ZSH software themes. And these are key servers. So if you have problems with key importing from time to time when you're updating and you're installing stuff and you can't get through to these key servers, they, they, they don't get errors and all that, this is the script to run that will solve that issue. So it's all up to you. It's very minimal, these things. I kept it very minimal for a reason, because Nemesis is the real thing, the big thing, okay? So it's it depends if you like to run these or not. It's all up to you. This is the personal folder. All right.